So here's a quick video I made while doing an introduction to Tinker with my second grade class. You get to see the puppet in action as well as how I introduce Tinker. Let me know what you think. Come on in and sit in the puddle, guys. Oh, Waka! 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 As soon as we're quiet in the puddle, I'm going to know we're ready to start. Do you have a question? I can't hear you. Can you say that one more time? This room did used to be full of computers, and now it is our maker space. And a maker space is a place that we can use to do many different things. Today, we're going to be using it to do some work on iPads. Do you have a question? Um, why is that like videotaping you over there? So I can keep track of what I'm doing. It's not videotaping you. You can see it cuts off right about here. So I sometimes I'll video record my lesson so that I know what I did for the lesson so that later on I can teach better. So we're just kind of doing that. Now I'm not going to take any more questions. Because I'm taking over. Hey guys. Hey Waka. Have any of you guys used the app Tinker? Yes. Show me a silent connection if you've used Tinker. Okay, a couple people have used Tinker. What is Tinker? I forgot that I used it a long time ago. A long time ago. Do you remember what Tinker is? Yeah, it's like um, a place where you can like program stuff. Right. We're going to be teaching a troll to walk across a desktop. Ooh. And you're going to be working in partners. And one of the things that Sam's going to start talking about today is how to work in partners and how to solve problems. So oftentimes when we're programming, what we're doing is we're going to be trying something that we haven't done before. And sometimes that can be difficult. And what we're going to do today is we're going to work on the in the app Tinker. But what I want you to be doing is I want you to be looking at a couple things to solve problems. Now, when you're using an iPad by yourself, can you hold your question till the end? When you're using your iPad by yourself and you don't know how to do something, how do you figure out what to do? If you have a partner, you can ask it. If you have a partner, you can ask, but what if you're by yourself? How do you figure it out? How do you figure it out? What if your parents aren't available and you're just there with the iPad and you're trying to figure something out? How can you figure it out? What if a teacher isn't there? Or you could just look at all the research or, or eat a lot. So one of the things that one of the things that I'm going to ask you guys to do is when you first get stuck, read the screen. And that means you're going to look at the screen of the iPad and you're going to see what it's telling you. And you're going to see if there's a button you can push for help. Maybe if there's a button you can push for help, what might it look like? Do you know? Um, well, I have a different thing. Okay, so we're working on this question right now. We'll come back to your, your strategy in a second. If we're on an iPad and we're looking for a button that'll help us out, what might a help me out button look like? On a lot of apps, it's, it looks like a question mark. Exactly. So it might look like a question mark because you have a question. So you say, well, I can press the question mark button. What else can you do? You can take lessons on Tinker, but right now we're talking about when you're in the app by yourself, how do you figure it out? You can read the screen, you can look for a help button, and I've heard some other really good solutions. If you're working with a partner, you could ask them. What other strategies do we have? Right, so it might just be a button that says help. Yes. Ask Siri. You could ask Siri some things, but generally, once you're inside an app, 
Siri isn't that helpful. If you're trying to find something on the iPad, Siri might be helpful, but we're not going to be using Siri much today. So when I can wait. Thank you for getting quiet. So when we go to the iPads today and we wake them up, we're going to be using the app Tinker. And Tinker might be in two places on your iPad. The first place it might be is in a folder called Programming or Code. And it's this red block with the white letter T in it. Now, if you're not sure where it is, does anyone remember how to search for something on an iPad? So you just pull down on the screen and you begin typing tinker. Now the word tinker is a T-Y-N-K-E-R. So if I type T-Y, we'll see that tinker comes up. Now, if you get two versions of tinker that pop up, can you guys see that there's two that have popped up there on that screen? One of them has a little yellow block in the corner and one doesn't. Go for the one with a little yellow block that says full, because that has all of the options on So we'll click on that, and it brings us up into this screen. And then there are several different places you can go in here. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing Cody's Quest. And when you click on Cody's Quest, it opens up, and you'll have to start reading to figure out what to do. And we're going to ask you to read the screen to yourself and work through the problems. And if you get stuck, you're going to have a partner that you're going to work with. So you're going to ask your partner a question first. And if you and your partner can't figure it out, then you're going to ask a teacher. But generally what we're going to do when we come over is we're going to read the screen and ask you what you think you need to do next. So be sure to read the screen as you go. Have you guys heard me repeat one thing a lot so far today? Read the screen. Read the screen. It's very important. Did you have a question? No problem. When you have a question later, you can just ask. Yes. Well, so you know when it, it like on tape. Well, I saw it like 